lose control because the, this fight crew were asking him to do things that were going to maim him. And he just very patiently kept saying, no, can't do that. No, we'll, we'll have to work it out another way. And he got through it. He did it. He was a stand-up guy, that guy. Yeah. But it was fun to kick his butt. And I don't think I lost at all. Hi again. Hello. Hi. I heard from a very reliable in-source that you had a little experience with body painting this morning. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful. And thank you for that. Yeah, you're welcome. If anybody wants to be just a little bit more beautiful, see this woman right here. <laughs> now, what I, I actually got a, another question for you. Uh, I don't know if you know Kelly Armstrong. She's uh, writing her own novel of books, and she's also writing one of the novels uh, for uh, Angel After the Fall. But she has a novel, and in her novels there are werewolves and also some vampires. But I hope that one of her uh, books will, for film, of how do you say that? Uh, yeah, will be a movie uh, with war werewolves. And how would you like to be one of them? Yeah, yeah man, I could do a werewolf. <laughs> yeah. I, um, it's hard to do a werewolf because you know, a werewolf has always got to be the nice guy. You know? Oh. Like, no, really, if, if you think about it, even the Hulk is the same way. It's, the Hulk is a retelling of the werewolf thing, but the whole thing is that, like, the Invisible Man is a jerk because it's terrifying that the Invisible Man would be a moral, that it would be a jerk. And it's also, it always has to be true that the, that, that the werewolf has got to be a nice guy who can't help it, so you feel sorry for him. But then that's a problem because nice guys are not as interesting all the time. Well, if you need a body painter for it, you know, I would find it. Right on. 